Hello everyone, hello all the viewers. If you are new, welcome in this channel. Please hit that subscribe button and like this video if you are quite interested about this topic. And if you are already enrolled in our family channel, you are also welcome. So, as you can see on the title, today we are going to discuss about something new and something very important to everyone. I think for the majority of the people, how long should it take to learn a new language especially. So stay with me, I'm going to give you an overview, a lot of information that is very helpful for you. If it is not helpful for you, it may be helpful for your friends or anyone who is interested about this topic. Keep you watching me. So the first thing which we are going to know, what is to learn a language. It is something that overwhelmingly like dependent on three factors. The attitude of the learner, the time the learner spends with the language, and the learner's attentiveness to the language. So given that this like the case, if we assume a positive attitude and reasonable and growing attentiveness to the language on the part of the learner, how much time should it take to learn a language? Suppose if we are able to put in 10 hours a day to learn a language, then basic fluency in the easy languages should take 48 days and for difficult languages 72 days, accounting for days off. This equates like to 2 months or 3 months time. If you only put in 5 hours a day, it will be twice as long. So if you are able to put in 5 hours a day to learn a language, then the basic fluency in the easy language should take the um, amount of the days which I am going to mention now it is about 56 days and for difficult languages it may take 144 days accounting for off days okay so it will be for some experts of the languages are telling that if you don't have that much time they would like encourage you to focus on input based learning with a lot of listening during that time time when you are doing other tasks washing the dishes driving your car working walking and so on this first stage is important to in order to get a grasp of some basic information vocabulary and sounds of how the language works it also gives us the confidence that we can move on to fluency during this first stage uh, if you are curious to know about it, you can also listen to improve more the content that you have learned or what you have maybe uh, you can listen and you can also write it again for the repetitive. Most of the scientists and the people who are already experienced the linguistics uh, and uh, the learning of other languages uh, that they are not native with it. So uh, they are believing that the repetitive listening is an excellent way to get used to a new language. Whatever the content you listen to and also uh, the transcripts, uh, you can also learn the vocabulary as well. So if you want to learn a new language, uh, they also advise you for repetitive listening and also to transcripts sometimes um, people advise to look at the, the language that you are looking for to learn uh, with uh, some movies and see the transcript the transcript story of the language that you are um, grasping or you are talking so that you can improve yourself on that language that you are looking for so this is about the end of our video i hope you got something new and you got all the information that you are looking for uh, about the exact duration or exact timing that how much time or how long time it will take you to learn a new language it is not uh, exact or stable because it is also belongs to the person's time how much time you give to learn this language and how are you uh, interested to learn this language and uh, like that so it is depending to person to another one and also the um, uh, the interesting or the obligatory dreams like you are willing to uh, learn or to have this language purpose is also different from one to another one i hope that i give all the answers of your questions see you in my next upcoming videos support me with a like and thumbs up please like this video